my Gemini, Aries. I keep wanting to talk about Gemini for some reason. But here we go. I'm doing the 10th to the 15th for my Gemini. How is everyone? I hope everyone's okay. Would y'all push that down for me? Let me know, like, share, comment. I really appreciate it. This is hard work. So y'all bear with me. Because we're going to get this crackalacking. I kind of shuffled these already so they'll be good and ready. I'm trying to be good to my cards. They be, some of them don't be right. Okay. What's going on for my Aries on the 10th? What's happening here for Aries? 10th of September 2020, Archangel Michael. That they need to know everything wants to come out for you. What's happening on the 10th? Okay, we got happy and success on the 10th. Okay, the 11th. What's going on the 11th for my Aries? The 11th, what's going on for my Aries? The important messages that we need to know, you know. I, I don't put a lot on the spirit because I figure if he got, uh, she got something to say because they ain't got no gender, they'll say it. Let's go with the 11th. Of importance is transformation. Okay, we're going to the 12th. 12th of September 2020. 12th, okay. We have the uh, creative endeavor. That's the 12th. Uh, let me push these up because there are like no room on this table. I know I should do get a bigger table, but eventually I will. Right now, this will have to do, <laughs> as they say. Okay, we got the 12th, 13th. We need a card for the 13th, please, angels. What's going to be going on the 13th? Hold on to me. I don't like all the cards. <laughs> Come on, get to my screen. The 13th. You hear any noise? That's just my kids. Uh, they doing their little exercise. So bear with me. Okay. We have on the, um, this is the 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th, but it was upside down. We had the honor path, but it's upside down. In other words, I'll explain that to you in a minute. Okay. 14th. Can I have a card up for the 14th for my Aries, please? 2020, September 2020. And I have a card for the 14th of my Aries. There we go. We have uh, upside down the vast of universe. Okay. And now we need the 15th. 15th of September. I need a card for that. A card for the 15th. When it coming out, good. We have dark thoughts. Okay. For the 15th. Now, Okay. And the last card we have, Deserving. Okay, we're going to clarify these cards, you know, to what degree. First, we're going to start with here. Happy success. In other words, um, looks like he's all happy. He feels excited. Even if it's a little accomplishment in his life, he feels so excited. He He's looking up there and he sees some brighter things coming at the temple, tunnel. Because sometimes we have to start seeing things to, to, to so we'll know that they're working and have some prospect or move on. And uh, sometimes we get caught up in that um, I want it now syndrome. And you're not going to get everything just now you know what i'm saying you're just not going to do it it's just it takes time to get things to go the way they're supposed to go at least that's what they tell me you know it takes time okay this was in the upright position so we're gonna read it like it is a happy man stands in the flowering field with his arms stretched out happily looking up at the sky it's raining beautiful gems silver coins and droplings of bright light. He is clearly filled with joy about the abundance blessings coming his way. Happiness is a choice as is the consciousness of success. 
when you live in these mental attitudes, it's only matters of time before you too are showered with the blessings you deserve. This card makes marks a time of great joy and abundance for you. This may be in the form of expanding wealth, love, or business achievement. The promise here is that the wish you've been dreaming about is coming your way. So open up to your success in your heart and to the happiness always in your life. And get ready. It's saying, hold on, let me, it's saying, get ready, boy. It's saying, get ready for a brighter day. It's saying, get ready for a brighter day. Y'all hear that? <laughs> I'm silly. Y'all got to pay me no mind. So, in other words, you got to be a little patient. Get over the mental stuff. Stop feeling sorry for yourself because your success is coming around the corner. You just got to have patience. And that's something, you know, sometimes we don't got patience. And I can admit, this is my reading too. I don't have patience either. So, this is, uh, you know, Aries is uh future and we don't have patience and sometimes we have to look into ourselves to slow down because we do too much you know we just you know how Aries is they just do and do till they fall out okay <laughs> here is the um we got the 10th this is the 11th it's um uh this up here could mean that this could come in eight months maybe eight days success it's hard to say, consciousness. And then you says we've got five cycles of transformation. This card on the upright shows a woman getting ready to go across a bridge and move into a new light field adventure. In rolled up scrolls, she carries all the wisdom she needs to move forward. This fortunate card reveals a time of great inner and possibility out of transformation. You are now at a place where you are capable of transforming your old life into something brand new. Unhealthy patterns of thoughts and behavior are now ready to shift into the much higher resources of peacefulness, not just mental energy. For some people, this is no less then the opportunity to revel at themselves as a result. This car is putting you to notice that you are powerful. Manifestor, your inner change, your inner changes now will reap. You know, you reap what you what you got going on. In other words, you're just gonna your power is within. You just have to Aries have to look within yourself to get it to come out. And once it does, um you're going to be powerful. In other words, you got to get past, but you got to fix things too. You can't just have success and don't fix the inner part. You know, we, you have to fix your insides too. Now, this card is the creator and indebtor. This is proven. Uh, it says in eight months. I, it's usually eight days, eight when it represents something. I got another eight. We got eights here. We got five. These numbers are, I'm not good at numbers, but they represent stuff. Okay, this card in the upright, it says, um, stand upright in the sand along with the book and camera, paintbrush and an, art an artist's eel. A beautiful, vibrant river flows by indicating that this new inspiration is coming. This herald a period of great creativity for you. If you've been thinking about the new creative project, it's time to get things to going. And if you're ready to work, be working on such a product, this is the card telling you to shift it into high gear. In other words, get your butt going and get your creativeness in and so you can get your prize because you are you doing this, you know. Aries, you're doing something. You're doing, you really knocking down, you're getting, your wish is going to be fulfilled because they're saying it, that you got a, a fulfillment come. You just got to be a little uh, patient. It's just a, one of our not-so-good qualities. You know what I'm saying? You just Some people hate to get Just like if you got a letter coming. Some people don't like it, but, you know. Okay. Now you got the, uh, on, that was the 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th. We, here, we got the, the honor 
path. And there's like seven, in, uh, look like a seven at the top. And it says in the reverse, when this card is in reverse, it's a sign of sentiment, self-dismissal, and negations of your life may be filled with people who take advantage of you. But it is you who is setting the stage with your own willingness to put everyone else first. This card is telling you to get back in your conscious control. It's time to break the negative cycle, continue living according to other people's agencies. It may seem foreign to you, but it's time to make yourself a prodigy. Demand, respect yourself and others. Choose healthy habits and loving self-talk. Be aggressive with your radiating self-care. Your unwillingness intentions to do so will lead you to a powerful happiness. That is the perverse correction of breathe beautiful and highly rewarding. So the whole thing is I choose to paralyze myself. I am a truly viable person. I deserving of your own your own self-care. In other words, I've heard that today for some of you. You deserve of your own. You deserve to be treated like you somebody. So don't get it twisted. All this sloppy stuff being people with all the you know, uh, attitudes in the air, but you know, it's changing dimensions. As they say, it kind of messes with, with us a little bit, a lot. It's messing with people's attitudes. It's just like we're changing another frequency and it's kind of hard. Your body got to go into, it going to go into some things, you know, especially being older as I am, it goes to, um, you know, different things. And, um, I'm looking at uh, the real side of it, you know? So, uh, yeah, here we go. Let's go to the next. It's this 155. We got the vast universe. Okay. Okay, basically, it's in the reverse. That's not nice. It's, that's a no no. Okay, it says when this card is, comes to be to you in reverse, you find yourself feeling isolated and unable to resolve things on your own. You're looking for connections and solutions, but the thing may be feel pretty grim. It's important to know, know, however, that you are never disconnected from divine consciousness of, of whoever or anyone in your universe. It all about your energy. So be sure to release any fears that push up walls and shut down important spiritual and personal alliances. In other words, I need to do that. The light of the God revealed me. Divine connection, consciousness guide me. Abundant blessings of the universe flow into my life. That's a blessing. Okay, it's going to, but their blessings is coming. You got to be a little patience every week. You no, know, I understand we all don't got no patience. Because deep down, I ain't got none. So, you know, since me telling that, to, see, one thing about them, be straight up with you. If I ain't got no patience, then I sure don't expect you to got none, you know, because we going, you know, been having edgy because of this new, uh, our bodies is trying to adapt to the change. Okay. The next card we have is on the 15th, and it is the dark thoughts. You see them, Blake? You got dark thoughts. Okay, it says, I consciously choose to release unhealthy thoughts or behavior. I am always strong enough to make choices that honor me. That's it. Now we got over here deserving. What's on the last card? First of all, I can get that. In my mind, what that means, because sometimes Aries don't feel like they deserve, you know, some people, they get greedy and they wouldn't share with nobody. So a lot of Aries, you reap what you sow, because sometimes the world make you like that. You either get tough or you broke. It's that simple. <laughs> you get tough or you will get broke. And that's the way I see that. I thought I had it in here. Uh, what did it say? Okay, the universe deserving. You need to find out if you feel deserving in your life because 
all the fruits are there, but you have to accept that you are deserving. Letting go what no longer serves you, see? You're deserving. You see how you all and them birds, you know, it's going to come your turn. And then it says letting go. Letting go of things that no longer serve you. That's dragging you down. And look for true love because it's around the corner. But you first got to give up the bad, the stupid love that you got. Because if you're fighting all the time, it ain't worth it. It just ain't worth it. I like to be free. I like to have joy. I like to love in me. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I want to see what energy is we talking about at this table. Who are we talking about at this table for us? Um, them showing love towards their mates or whoever it is. Who's the mates? Is, what is their Aries? What is their sign that they happen to be dealing with? Could you give me a name, you know, like a card for that? That the sign they could be dealing with. With all these issues, relationship and stuff. What? They in there good. Try again. There we go. Well, this goes off. It says uh, it's a Leo, too, that's doing this that you're having trouble with. And Aries is having the trouble with Leo. It says self confidence to create, taking change on, resulting from the impressive of you. And then on the other way, it says leadership, the creativity of do what you want to avoid what you want, and you'll be all right. Okay, that's Leo giving you the blues. Let me see who else is here on this table. Let's see if we got anyone. Anybody else on this table we talking about? As far as mates that need to work on their relationship or having problems in the it's the, the tower. Could you explain another sign that's possibly that need to be on here that's getting tired moments? Please, bro. Is there anybody? Okay, then we got an Aries. Oh my God, two Aries, that's not good. Energies that meet the challenge of, deserve. you're deserving regardless, result from the honesty and strength of. And then it says your willpower, what you think you know is about to do it on your own, in your own way. You need to do things your own way, Aries. But it's an Aries that you're talking about that's coming to. I'm talking about relationship-wise. Who is coming forward is showing out on this table? Anybody else coming through? Who else is showing out on this table? They got complaints. Or they don't like their relationship here and they need to change it. Who else is on this board? Anybody else on the board? No, I just choose one. Okay, we got Gemini's on this board. We got Gemini's is another sign, you know, person on this board for as a man that uh, or a woman that you're dealing with that might, uh, like I said, you know, they got the twins and the twins, boy, they be twin, woman, twin, you know. Uh, pick one more. Any more energies that's on this that need to be said? need to be on this table that the energies that's surrounding us. Okay. We have the Capricorn and the Taurus. Your The Taurus is your belief the coins of use the, the most direct, direct way and you shall get it. And then over here is your goals day to day. With, use the most bit it's like and make it. So that's the energies we're dealing with today. Okay. Now we're going to go over here and get the angel cards. Let me see if there's something that they would like to say to you concerning the spread. Okay. Okay. Oh, that goes over here. Okay. Anything else that you would like and advice you would want Aries to know? What advice do you give Aries concerning their their uh, situation of anything that needs to be said, their health, their family, 
No need to worry because everything going to be all right. You just got to have your faith. Anything else you'd like to say to Aries? Anything else? Okay, here we go. If you believe, you got to believe in what you're doing to, to manifest it. In other words, you believe in no worries, then you'll be all right. Just go with the flow. Anything else? Okay. We got, you're ready. In other words, you're ready to tackle on whatever you got to do. Because the angels is working with you. And they're proud of you. And they will always, they're telling you you're ready. But you got to feel like you're ready too. Uh, sometimes we feel like we're not ready. And we are. Because we're just, just not doing all that we need to do. And there's a lot of problems we get blocked. Because we don't see what's in front of us. Because we can't. Third eye is blocked. Okay, it says all, it says all your past, you, okay, I want to go with the believe card. All your past experience have led to this moment. You studied and, and grown spiritually in, in many ways. There is nothing more to do. You're ready to move forward and to embrace on the person you know in your heart you are meant to be. That's sweet. The world anxiety awaiting, contributing that following your life purpose will provide you may have to put, you have to put yourself first in this situation. It's time to do what's best for you. Oh my God, y'all said it straight. So I'm gonna get another card, ain't you? Y'all lifting me up. One more card, somebody's taking my energy. Dark into my could you? Give me some energy. I'll clear this up. Whoever's taking it. Don't take so much. Don't drink me like God. Blah. I'm getting sleepy. And I know that feeling. Okay, don't stop. They're telling me to keep going. So I'm going. It's telling me don't stop what I'm doing. Just to keep faith. Don't worry about what other people say and think. Because they're going to be and be forgiving to people that hurt me. And I got to work on that because sometimes I can be a little rough, too. Anything else, Angel? It said the situation will improve, whatever you asked. Okay. Anything else that we need to know? Anything else do you need to know? Put poisons. Anything else? Too many cards. Meditation, romance. I got it. They tell me I need to vote. I know I need to meditate. Peaceful resolution, success, and assertiveness. I got all that in one spread. Boy, they had a lot to say to me. But I want to tell y'all thank you for joining me, Aries. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm doing a little different things as I go. But anyway, God bless everybody and keep it straight because it's LA and push that down because I want to talk to you again. I want to talk to you again. See you later on the way in. You know I got you. You know I got you. Okay, y'all. Bye-bye. God bless. Bye-bye.